ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my press conference and I'm very happy and very proud of the youth Piccadilly players. I heard people being skeptical about our philosophy of bedding in so many youth players at once, but my idea was to play the youth Piccadilly players in a team and not just throw two or three of them into the first team, but play them together. They grew up together at the Liverpool Academy. So think about it just for a second. They grew up together, they have this great camaraderie, great chemistry, and it shows on the pitch because they are playing so, so well. Any questions? I'm Richard from The Telegraph, and my question is, how do you feel about Brandon Rogers' comments saying that you owe your success to him? He said it's like when you're building a skyscraper and someone puts the roof on and gets all the credit for it. He couldn't even buy a victory in the Europa League, never mind winning the Premier League title three times, winning the Champions League twice, and he has the cheek to say that. I know what this is all about. This is just about him staying relevant. So my message to Brendan Rodgers is... Deal with it. <laughs> Shout out to Richard Little who submitted the question for today's press conference. What is up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome back to the Liverpool Carrier Road Show with a brand new episode and guys ask me questions, funny funny questions for the next press conference and your question could be featured in the next episode and if you want me to continue the daily uploads in this series smash the like button and but i'm also bringing back all my other carrier mode series so the burner move the napoli and the my player carrier mode will continue as well as my ultimate team series and i will try to finish my napoli carrier mode as soon as possible and then i will start a bundesliga carrier mode so you can already leave your comment you know uh, what kind of uh, bundesliga team should i start that carrier mode with and also leave a comment where are you watching from i would love to know and i'm playing this team a very young team against burnemouth because burnemouth are a small team so we we can afford to play our second team and i also wanted to ask you which team do you prefer to see in this career mode the youth academy and the region team or the first team with the superstars oh no oh okay are you serious he hits the post come on origi Nunez! Ah, damn it! Oh, whoa, whoa! Karius, well done, keeper. Oh, Nunez! All the way, son! Nunez! Ha <laughs> ha, what a goal! Look at this, he just has the pace to get through everyone and then he has the finish. I've been training his finishing and it shows. Beautiful! Come on, Johansson! Come on! Finish it, son! It's two! Johansson makes it 2 0 the Zlatan region! Get it! Fantastic counter attack! Nunez and Johansson, two very young players combined. And that's a great finish into the near post. Fiatta! Fiatta! Oh, good save. Okay. Come on, boys. Johansson. Oh, man. Johansson is an absolute beast. Dominic Lane! I can't believe it! These young players are playing like they are the first team! I can't believe it, look at that! The composure that he has! And he's a right back! And he can finish! Wow! They can't even tackle him! And guys, just to show you that I'm using increased sliders, as you can see the CPU's shot error and pass error are lower than usual and also their first touch control is lower everything else is on default and my sliders everything else in a, is on uh, everything else is in default except the injury frequency just to make it realistic because in, in football there are a lot of injuries usually during the season oh no Wilson is in oh Wilson oh my word oh they hit the post and Karius again Clear it! No! This was amazing. They hit the post. 
And then Karius makes a world class save and I just couldn't get back with Dominic Lane. Come on Origi! Oh they hit the post! I mean Origi hit the post, no! Bazur, Firmino and Ribeiro, another youth Academy player, is coming on for the tired players. Let's hold on to this victory. Oh, Nani! 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 Oh my word! Oh that was terrible! I should have fouled him! And I didn't want to give away a red card. What the hell is that pass? Oh my god. Man, the last 20 minutes were really, really nervous times. Bournemouth almost did an Istanbul on us. We were 3 0 up at half time and they almost came back. It was a very even game in the end. So happy though for the Youth Academy players. Here are the Youth Academy and the other players that I'm training and I decided to keep training Dominic Lane because even though he's 82 rated, his training is still very good so he can improve a lot by uh, training. And also I'm training McDonald, the defensive midfielder and Karius as well and Johansson just improved by a lot as you can see. We are uh, top of the league in the World Cup qualifiers, I will try to get the qualification done as soon as possible so we can simulate the rest of the games and we are playing against Ireland next which you know that I really like the Republic of Ireland I have that Ireland shirt in my wardrobe so yeah let's see how this game goes I'm playing this team that you can see on the screen this Hungary team is not world class that's why I keep playing with them that's why I love the challenge of trying to guide them to the World Cup and try to win the whole thing Come on, Jujak! Oh, Jujak! Jujak! Oh my word, what a goal! Fall out, Jujak! <laughs> One of the stars of the Euro Tournament! That is fantastic! And the key to this is that long touch because I saw that there was space in the middle. Oh no, he's in! And it's 1-1 one, one already. Wow, they equalized straight away. Oh, Handlen. Damn it! He was just wide open and I couldn't get anywhere close to him. Oh. Jujak! Jujak! Oh. oh no. Oh no, 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 no! Surprise, motherfucker! Are you kidding me? What a volley! Look at that volley! That is a stunning goal. Come on, Salai! No! 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 Are you kidding? How did he miss? Watch this. Grealish with a shot. It hits the post. It comes out. And O'Hanlon was, was about to score. His second goal, but somehow Bogdan's hand gets in the way. Wow. Okay. Shimon! Oh, wow. Come on. Come on, beautiful Lovrancic! And he misses it. Oh. Oh, Jujak, please, Jujak! It's just not our day, man. I played really well, but Ireland were clinical in front of goal. Of course, the increased sliders helped them a lot. And I, to be honest, I really like Ireland. I hope they will make it to the World Cup alongside us. As you can see, we were the better team. We just couldn't score. The next game is crucial. We are playing Greece. And as you can see, the group just got a lot tighter. Salah is out injured for two months. He broke his toe. He's our main striker, so Nemeth will play in his place. I think we can beat Greece, but let's make sure that we do. No? Bogdan! Well done! Come on! Please! Shimon! God damn it! Just finish it! Oh, Alec! Alec! I can't, what? I can't score man, what the hell? No, 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 no! Fuck that, well done, okay. No! Bogdan, why do you do this to me? Ah, it was all Greece so far to be honest. I don't know what happened, but 
They are dominating actually and they deserve to lead this game. Come on. Lovrencic! I can't believe this. How does he save that? Unbelievable. Come on, Jujak. Jujak! Hey, I, I can't, I can't believe it. No, no, no! Don't let him in. Ooh. Oh my God! Look at, look at how they are parking the bus. Uh, I cannot believe that we lost this game. Yes, Greece was the better team in the first 30 minutes, but after, after that. The game completely changed and it was all Hungary, but we just couldn't break down the Greece goalkeeper. And yes, they had more shots, but I had more shots on target. We just didn't play well enough. And the qualifiers look like this, guys. Look how tight it is. One point separate the first four teams in the group. That is just insane. Ah, oh, man, I'm so frustrated right now losing that game with Hungary against Greece at home. But I'm sure that we can win the last four games or at least three of the last four and qualify to the next round. So here is confirmation that Salai broke his toe in the first game with Hungary so he's out for two months. But the great news is that Dybala is back from his injury. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this Liverpool Carrier World episode. If you did, leave a like. Thanks for watching. See you later guys. Goodbye.